What's going on YouTube family? Garrett back at you guys again with another video. I want to bring you guys some more news regarding updates to the Amazon platform, how it's affecting us as sellers. If you guys haven't heard the news or gotten the email within the last like 12, 16 hours, Amazon sent out an email and they are temporarily prioritizing products that are essentials um, in different categories to be sent into fulfillment centers. So there's certain products, categories, or actually a lot of them that they are not allowing us as sellers to ship into fulfillment by Amazon. So if you guys don't put two and two together, this is going to affect a lot of sellers, at least in the short term, who don't sell these necessity-like products, um, selling stuff like toys or just random products that aren't necessities at this point in time. Your business is definitely gonna get hurt, so I kinda wanna discuss um, kind of what I'm doing to kind of navigate around this and kind of some things you guys might be able to do as well to help your situation. But first I want to start by reading the email so you guys get a better idea of what I'm talking about. So Amazon sent out an email saying we are closely monitoring the developments of COVID-19 and its impact on our customers, selling partners, and employees. Um, we are seeing increased online shopping and as a result some products such as household staples and medical supplies are out of stock. With this in mind, we're tempor temporarily prioritizing products such as household staples, medical supplies, stuff like that, high demand products coming into the fulfillment centers because they want to quickly restock these products because they're in need and in high demand, so on and so forth. For other products, they have temporarily disabled shipment creation, so you're not even going to be able to create your shipments. I know they're allowing certain categories to be sent in. Um, if you guys haven't, go look at the email you got. Just go to Amazon. You can read all about this. But there's certain categories they're letting, and I'm pretty sure they're only letting specific products within these categories. I'm not sure if they're just letting, like, beauty products is one of them. I don't think they're going to allow just, like, random, like, a cologne or something. Who knows? Go look. Go it, Whatever your products, whatever you're selling, check to make sure you're not going to... You're not gonna be allowed to sell this stuff at, or send it in at this moment to fulfillment by Amazon centers. Um, again, th as of now, this is going to be lasting for a, you know a couple weeks, two, three weeks. This can definitely take a hit, like especially sellers that have a lot of overhead, have a lot of product on that they're looking to send into Amazon. Private label sellers who might already have you know shipments in production. Um, I do believe if you created your shipment before they put this thing into place, you're gonna be good. Um, don't quote me 100% on that, but from what I read, I believe that's what it is. So if any of you guys know any further, comment down below. If you have products in production overseas or they're getting ready to get sent over here to the United States, your best bet is gonna be to send them to your house um, because if Amazon's not gonna be accepting shipments, your product's gonna get there and who knows what will happen at that point. So I think it's safest bet if you have products even on its way through sea shipping or whatever it is, if you haven't created those shipments, like if you have a freight forwarder or whatnot, try to see if you can have your freight forwarder send them directly to you and just start fulfilling by merchant, doing whatever you can. Sell whatever products you have, maybe at your house, your warehouse, whatever it might be, we're gonna have to resort to fulfilling it by merchant because we can't send it into FBA. There's just nothing we can do at this point about it. Again, if you have access to these products that Amazon is looking for you to send in, guys, definitely um, do so. These are products that are in need around the country and I do think you'll prov be providing a service if you are able to get your hands on certain products and selling them for a reasonable price. But for everyone else, I don't sell a lot of these like necessity like items, grocery type items. Um, whatever it might be, I'm more of a kind of, it's not a necessity type item, so I'm definitely going to be getting impacted by this. I do have certain products in production, um, so I'm just personally going to be taking per whatever action necessary I have to. If I told you guys do this, do that, do that, and knew an exact plan of how I'm personally gonna be navigating this situation, I'd be lying. I don't know, I'm gonna continue to update you guys with what I'm doing, so hopefully you guys can take something to help your business. Um, but like I said, do what you can in the meantime. Don't slow down, you know, still keep trying to, you know, produce an income for yourself because that's the most important thing at this time is just being able to stay alive, stay afloat. I just hope I can bring you guys some value during these times to kind of show you what I'm doing to hopefully help you guys out. Again, guys, we're all in this together. We're all Amazon sellers. We need to help each other in these times. Definitely keep up to date with all the news coming out, but I just want to make this video um, to kind of update you guys with what's going on. Again, if there's anything I can questions, hit me up on Facebook. I'm just chilling at home kind of handling and navigating these headaches at the moment. So I'll be online. So if you guys have any questions, reach out. 
Stay safe, stay positive, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next video.